changing taxon order doesn't matter what is taxon if you have gone through the previous presentation you know that taxon is actually the OTUs or leaves which are written that if that we change the taxon order that doesn't overall cha change the meaning of the tree what does that mean but if we change the uh, if we change the root it changes the meaning but if we change the taxonic order it doesn't change the meaning it means if I make a tree and I'll explain it to you to here right for example there's one tree that is C and D I just change the different types of trees so that you cannot get equipped with all the different tree styles all the, the two tree tree styles C D and then there's a no there is a B right so now this is one tree so what does that mean that changing the taxon order doesn't matter for example if we write like this B C E B so this tree and this tree are more are totally similar because if you if you closely look C and D are closely related here and these are uh, and their ancestor is A out group is A here also C D and C are closely related and their ancestor is A and the last common ancestor or the out group is B right and if we write it like this for example Now here we just swap the tree. It is all again the sim totally similar. For example, D and C, and then our group is A, and then the last common ancestor is B. Here you see that C and D, and then our group is A, and the last common ancestor is B. So all of these are same. And if we further move into different uh, concepts, like if C and D and C, now A and B. This is also same. Here again you can see that A and B are closely related. C and sorry, it's C and D are closely related, and there is an outgroup of A, and then there is a, a, a last uh, outgroup of B. So all of these, and even if there is one, we also take. I think it's very much clear to you guys, but still uh, to make it further. D C, right? A. B. So all these trees, all these trees, if you look, if you just pause the PPT or presentation and just look at all these, uh, uh, all these different uh, trees, but they may, might look same, but the order, changing the order is not changing the meaning. All these trees are, all of these trees are, have the same meaning because the ancestor ancestral uh, relationship is same right so just 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 understand that ancestral relationship is is ancestral re relationship is same right that's what i want to um, again this is a master class of my writing so i hope you guys have now clear understanding of what is the uh, why a, a root is important and why the taxon order is not that important if we take care of the uh, the root root and uh, we just not uh, we we don't change the root then the overall meaning of the tree remains the same and there's no problem if we add any uh, you can say flavor or if we swap the trees or if we take care of the uh, root and the overall ancestral order so now there is also again uh, one more concept before we go into the further different details there is one uh, type of tree that is called a scaled tree scaled versus unscaled right 
actually a scale tree is the tree which also tells you the uh, how much amino acid difference is between the species under comparison for example if we are saying here this is the human right now if this is a b c d e right now here you can see that this uh, uh, if you follow the previous presentation or the lecture you uh, you uh, know that uh, what is horizontal gene transfer so here the horizontal gene transfer is different oh, sorry horizontal gene not sorry 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 not horizontal gene transfer horizontal branch length right this uh, horizontal branch length length is different for example here it's e has very long branch length c is also have comparatively long compared to d a and b so this branch length actually what uh, it tells you the total number of amino acid difference so the scale tree tells you the exact number of difference between the two species or between the all between all the species whereas the uh, unscaled tree just tells you the ancestral relationship and the close relationship but has nothing to do with telling you the a b c d e here you can see that all of the tree all of the species have similar number of changes so this is a unscaled tree and this is the scale tree right so there is a small difference then there is also a, and it has no sp uh, special amino acid change meaning it just tells you the relationship one uh, more tree is the called the ultrametric tree it's also based uh, and that is also based on the in that tree the horizontal branch length ultra metric tree actually tells you the is this tree is based on time it has nothing to do with the minus it change and all so these are the basic concepts from the next uh, in the next presentation or in the next lecture we will go through another very uh, into a very detailed topic that is actually uh, you guys may have a bit of idea about it but uh, uh, we will still discuss it there are a lot of students who are who are no, uh, new to this field so we will discuss all the basics and the, ex the uh, and the topic is right so tree building methods there are two types of tree building methods one is uh, distance based and the other is character based now i think my writing is getting to improve because it's very it's new to me uh, the using the tablet and explaining everything uh, but uh, time has taught us so many things so we should uh, be now we we should also feel ourselves equipped with these new ways uh, hopefully uh, this will further help you to understand new concepts in phylogenetics in the next lecture we will start to discuss these tree building methods hope all of you are same uh, as you were before last week and um, uh, take care of yourself and uh, hope uh, we we guys will meet again with new topics and new discussions thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh